Hi, I'm Wei Kong Tan from Mo Nash University, Australia. The first author of the paper BIDKT, Deep Knowledge Tracing with Bird. This paper is also co-authored by Yuan Jin from Mo Nash University, Ming Liu from Deakin University, Australia, and He Zhang from Zhongtu Keqing Company Limited, China. This presentation is composed of these four sections. The introduction to the paper and the topic. In this section, we will introduce the initial proposal of the knowledge tracing model, the adaption of deep learning models in knowledge tracing, transformer, BERT, and some recent knowledge tracing models, and our motivation of incorporating BERT into the knowledge tracing domain. The problem formulation and the architecture of our proposed model in this session, we will introduce the formulation of the knowledge tracing task, how our model is constructed based on BERT, and how we trained and tested our model. The experiments we conducted for this paper. In this section, we will introduce the baselines and data sets we chose and the experiment setup, and we will discuss our experiment results. Finally, we will conclude the presentation of this paper along with our perspective for future work. The concept knowledge tracing was proposed by Corbett and Anderson in 1994. They proposed the first knowledge tracing model based on Bayes theorem. The model aims to predict students' proficiency over different subjects in a fine-grained and predefined curriculum. To achieve so, the model assumes the sequence of the students' responses to practical quizzes as a Markov process and estimates the student's proficiency based on the current response and the student's knowledge state before this response. While validating this model, Corbett and Anderson stated that if a knowledge tracing model can accurately predict whether the student can answer the next quiz correctly with its subject information and prior knowledge state as an input, this model can be considered effective. After they proposed the original Bayesian knowledge tracing model, many extensive knowledge tracing models had been proposed. The aim to introduce coefficients to model the individual differences of the students. Thanks to the event of deep neural networks, we can achieve better performance in knowledge tracing tasks. Peach and their colleagues proposed the first knowledge tracing model with deep neural networks. They innovatively proposed the DKT model with long short-term memory with current neural networks, and the model was the state-of-the-art of its time. Comparing to Bayesian knowledge tracing, knowledge tracing models based on deep learning can better capture the student's knowledge acquisition pattern and the subtle transition of the student's knowledge state. Their deep knowledge tracing model, DKT for short, inspired researchers to propose knowledge tracing models with deep neural networks. Vasvani and their colleagues proposed the transformer model based on multi-head self-attention mechanism and an encoder-decoder structure in 2018. The transformer model had outperformed recurrent neural networks in many natural language processing tasks. In 2019, Davlin and their colleagues proposed the BERT model, which has achieved even better performance. Inspired by the transformer models, many researchers have made efforts in incorporating the transformer models into the knowledge tracing domain. Notable ones include deep knowledge tracing with transformers with Poo and their colleagues and the context where knowledge tracing with Gauche and their colleagues. All this related research led to our motivation of introducing BERT into the knowledge tracing domain. Sun and their colleagues proposed the recommended system with BERT in 2019 and achieved excellent performance in some of the benchmark datasets. Since recommended system is a domain that shares some similarities with the knowledge tracing, we can see that adapting BERT to the knowledge tracing domain may improve the performance of the model. Moreover, previous knowledge tracing models can only capture the student's transition of knowledge state in one direction, whereas due to the nature of its masked LM pre-training task, BERT can better capture these information from both directions in the training phase. The knowledge tracing task can be formulated as follows. Given a sequence of lamb capital T of a student's history of answering practical quizzes x1, x2 up to x capital T, where x lowercase t is a tuple of qt and at, 
with QT is the subject the student was practicing at time T, and AT is whether the student answered the question correctly. The knowledge tracing model aims to predict A capital T plus 1 given Q T plus 1. We will introduce the details of how we set the training and testing tasks later in this presentation. The input layer of BIDKT takes in each interaction in the sequences specific to each student, which consists of the correctness token and the subject token. The correctness token ranges from 0 to 3, with 0 as the padding token, 1 as the mask token, 2 as the incorrect token, that is to say AT equals 0, and 3 as the correct token, that is to say AT equals to 1. Since BIDKT is based on the transformer model, we will need to add the positional embedding to incorporate sequential information. The final embedding of the token at the T position is the element-wise addition of these three embeddings. After the input layer, we apply the dropout layer to avoid overfitting. The dropout layer is followed by the core of BIDKT, the transformer layers. This is a module composed of stacking transformer encoder layers adapted from the transformer model proposed by Basvani and their colleagues in 2018. Each layer is composed of a multi-head self-attention module and a fully connected position-wise feedforward network. The output modules of BIDKT starts with the dense layer with Gaussian error linear unit as the activation. This layer is followed by a normalization layer and a dense layer with softmax activation. The upmax value of the softmax activated dense layer is the predicted label. The masking layer is a binary vector which will set the position where the correctness token is not masked to zero. Therefore, only the tokens to be recovered by the model will be taken into account in the calculation of loss. The model will minimize the sparse categorical cross entropy between the value of the correctness token and the target. Inspired by the masked LM pre-training task of the native bird, we randomly replace the correctness token in the sequence to the mask token for the model to recover. Since our model has no downstream task, we did not perform further fine-tuning of the model. Instead, inspired by the pre-training strategy in Sun and their colleagues in 2019, we randomly mix some sequences with only the last token being replaced with the mask token for the model to recover in order to narrow the gap between the training and testing task. As for the testing strategy, we will take a student with a learning history of four responses as an example. We will generate these sequences in the figure on the right for the model to predict the student's last responses. In this case, there will be no label leakage and all responses in the student's learning history will be used for testing. We will now introduce the experiments we conducted to evaluate the efficacy of our model. We used the Wrangell dataset provided in Gorsch at Alias 2020 and Gervit at Alias 2020 for an objective comparison. We will introduce these datasets in the next slide. The assessment datasets are collected from a computer-aided tutoring system utilized in the United States of America for high school mathematics classes. Each record in the dataset comprises the student's mastery status on the concept, timestamp of the response, the teaching concept associated with the question, etc. Assessment 2009 has been chosen to be the benchmark dataset for knowledge tracing problem in the past decade. Statics 2012 is the dataset of the log data of computer-aided tutoring system for a college-level engineering subject. Algebra 2005 and Bridge to Algebra 2006 are datasets originally for KDD COP 2010, a competition for data mining. The task of the competition was to predict students' correctness on mathematical exercises by learning from their log data from the computer-aided tutoring systems. The Spanish dataset is a dataset of log data of high school students learning Spanish on a computer-aided tutoring system. The area under the receiver operating characteristic curve, AUC, 
has been widely used as the benchmark score for the comparison of model performance for the knowledge tracing task. Therefore, we used AUC as the performance score and compared the performance of our model with the results from Gorsh at Arias 2020 and Gerve at Arias 2020. As for our experiment settings, we conducted a five-fold cross-validation for our model. Following the data division policy of Gorsh at Arias 2020, 60% of the students will be used for training, 20% of the students will be used for validation, and 20% of the students will be used for testing. We implemented our model with Keras, a high-level API of TensorFlow. We also conducted a grid search for optimal combination of hyperparameters. The hyperparameters we experimented is in the table on the right. All our experiments are conducted on the M3 cluster, a high-performance computer cluster maintained by Monash University. Table 5 and Table 6 shows the results of our model with its competing counterparts over different datasets. It can be observed from Table 5 that BIDKT has outperformed the BKT model on the Statics 2012 dataset, the Algebra 2005 dataset, and the Spanish dataset. It has also outperformed DKT and SAKT on the Spanish dataset. It is also interesting to see that BRDKT has outperformed SAKT on the assessment 2009 dataset provided by Gorsh at Alias 2020, but not on the same dataset provided by Gervit at Alias 2020. Despite the performance gap on some of the datasets, we believe that BRDKT still bears the potential to further improve its performance. Sunni Elias 2019 has proven that BERT performs well in the sequential recommendation task, a similar domain to knowledge tracing. With regards to the performance gap, we have the following hypothesis. The knowledge tracing datasets are too small for a large model like BERT. The students' future performance are only dictated by their recent past performance but not by longer ones. Patterns underlying the interaction sequences are not sufficiently complex for our model to fully capture the patterns to allow it to outperform simpler models. We also conducted two extended experiments to investigate how the mass rate, that is, the probability of a correctness token being replaced by the mass rate, and the fine-tune rate that is, the probability of a sequence with only the last token being replaced by the mass token. For the mass rate, if it is too large, extra difficulty will be imposed to the model to capture the pattern of the sequence. But if it is too small, the robustness of the model will be impaired. For the fine-tune rate, if it is too large, we cannot fully leverage the power of the bird to capture the pattern of the sequence from two directions, but if it is too small, the gap between the training and testing task will be large. In conclusion, in this paper, we proposed and implemented a knowledge tracing model based on BERT. We conducted a series of experiments to evaluate our model and investigate how some hyperparameters affect the performance of our model. We also extended the usage of BERT model to the knowledge tracing domain. Future research could be conducted on incorporating more features, including text features, into the model and training the model with larger datasets, such as the EdNet dataset published recently. Thank you for your listening.